How are we doing, Danny boy? Hey, what's up, man? What are we doing today? You'll see, we're doing the Guapito hike today. The Guapito hike? The Guapito hike. One. Second tallest hike. Yes. In the whole of the island. And how long is the journey? Well, it's gonna take us about another two hours to get to this hike. And of course, I'm here to make it happen with you. Let's go build some calories with Danny boy. Let's, Let's go. make it happen. <laughs> So we are currently driving through Castries, which is the capital of St. Lucia. And I can't help but notice how busy it is in comparison to the days that we came previously. Fridays and Saturdays are the two busiest days. So on Saturdays, you will find the majority of the stores and business houses will close after noon. It's like a half day in Castries. So from this angle, you can see the top of the Petit Piton right there in the background. Ah. Up on the hill there, this yeah. is the top of the Petit Piton. We are far distance away, you can only see just the peak of it right there. So the Gropiton is right in the same area. The slogan of St. Lucia, see the mountains and drink the beer. Our local beer is the Pito beer. Pito means mountain with a peak. Yeah. We're gonna see the mountains, we're gonna climb the mountain, and then we're gonna drink the beer. <laughs> So here we are, the Twin Pitons. Now, one of the great things about joining Danny Boy for this hike is not only are you getting a private transfer to the hike, but he is an encyclopedia. You're learning so much about the history of St. Lucia and all the sites that you're driving past, but he's also gonna make these stop-offs to get some local produce so that you are refueled for your hike. Link to book it will be in the description. So over here, is one of the largest cocoa plantations. Cocoa everywhere. Jungle M&Ms for the boys. Jungle M&Ms. Yeah. Actually driving through the stream. And so we're doing this hike with Damascus. It's gonna be a guided tour from him. We are walking through this small community, this small village called the Fond Jalib. It is French, which means Valley of the Free People. One of the first settlements established by the brigands. They use the mountain, the Pito as a lookout point to see certain spots and locations where the British were coming in to recapture the island. It is recommended that you do do this hike first thing in the morning just because it can get very, very hot. So we've got the soursop, soursop. we've got the calabash, which is your national tree. Tree. Mascus just gave me a really nice little introduction of the hike, what to expect, how long it takes, around two hours to the top. To enter the hike, it is 50 US dollars or half price if you are under 12 years old. So there is some difficult terrain here and there. I would highly recommend wearing some decent hiking shoes. And so 30 minutes in, we are approaching the first rest point. Yeah. Definitely a really rewarding feeling when you do get to this first checkpoint because the views from up here are absolutely spectacular. The views of the Atlantic. Yes, we're looking at the district of Chouazel here. We have 17 districts on island. And also we can have a view of St. Vincent today, south oh, of St. Yeah, Lucia, which is 27 miles. We're very so fortunate, very lucky this morning that we can have this beautiful view of St. Vincent. And something I love about this hike is because it is a national park, it is a non-profit, so all the money that you, you know, pay towards these hikes, it all goes towards helping the community and fixing the roads. So it's all for a good cause. Wow, it is mental from here because right now I'm getting the first glimpse of the top of the mountain and it is a very, very long way up. So something else to be aware of when doing this trail is there can be quite a few mosquitoes. So it might be worthwhile covering up like I am. We are starting the first flight of rocks. We have the two flights in between the quarter and the halfway. Wow. Definitely a bit of a challenge. And so we've just made our way to the second checkpoint, which means we are halfway now up this hike. And we've got an amazing view of the Petit Piton, which is the second of the two pitons. We won't be climbing that today. Now, as far as hikes go, this is definitely among the more challenging ones that I have ever done, but I really like how well put together the hike is. You know, it does feel very secure, the integrity of the way that it's all been built. You do definitely feel safe, especially with these experienced guides. So we're gonna keep making our way up. Here you have this gecko here. Ah, you got a gecko. <laughs> yeah, there are parts where you're not just climbing and walking, but you are using your hands at certain areas as well. But we have made it to the three quarters point. It is time for another break and another drink to freshen up. 
So we are pretty much at the top of this hike. Yeah, about two minutes to this uh, south view and about 10 minutes to the north. Yeah, so there are two different viewpoints from up here. The south and the north. But here you can buy some snacks and some fruit. Just about two minutes until the very top. It's just that final stretch now. I'm feeling like I've got a sudden burst of energy. I cannot wait for these views. And we've made it to the south viewpoint, the top of Gros Piton, which is the second highest mountain in the whole of St. Lucia. And it is absolutely stunning from up here. And we did it in less than the two hours. Less than the two hours. Average okay. is so two not hours. quite record time. Yeah, we did it very good. Damascus is actually telling me that the second viewpoint is better than the first, but it is a bit more challenging to get to. Wow, this is cool. A stairway. <gasps> wow, unbelievable. Guys, I cannot explain how stunning this view is. It is easily better than the second because you've got an unbelievable view of Petit Piton. And it's also really quiet here. There's no other people because it is a smaller, area around this little section so you've just got to spend you know a good five ten minutes just taking it all in listening to the birds hearing the sounds of the nature just admiring these stunning views i'm feeling good i made it up so we can definitely make it back down the journey up is definitely more difficult on the way down you've definitely got to be more cautious with your footing because i feel like it is a lot easier to take a wrong step and potentially fall and hurt yourself so be more cautious use the handles hello it's really, really helpful to have these guys with you. They can advise exactly which rocks to take and which routes to take. Now guys, if you are lucky and you have a knowledgeable tour guide with you, you might be able to find the holes in the trees, which contains tarantulas. Oh, this break is definitely necessary. I needed some time to just let my legs rest because this is really quite challenging. This guy does two in a day sometimes. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Five hours later, this is my certificate. This means that I have officially hiked Gros Piton. Thank you, have a blessed day. Love that. So We're we done, did we, we did back. it, we did it. We made it back. We did it, how'd you feel? So, so difficult, really challenging, but really worth the challenge because yeah. there's nothing better than that feeling that you get once you've done it. How are we doing? You good? I'm good, man. You good? Yeah. Oh, this guy took care of me. I've got to say thank you very much, yeah. my man. Yeah. So that is the end of the hike. And I do need some refreshment. But fortunately, Danny boy has come with the piton after hiking. Grow piton. Yeah, man. So we're doing the beer. We're doing the beer now. See the mountain, claim the mountain, drink the beer. That is the slogan, man. Good vibes. A beer is a piton. This is what we need. Somewhere it's five o'clock. No way oh, better to celebrate after that hike. And drinking a cold bomb. We make our way to lunch. Yes, lunch time. Let's go. And so for lunch, we've made our way over to Soufrier. And um, this is a very, very special restaurant, but it's not necessarily the restaurant that makes it special. It's the head chef. How you doing, man? Uh, I do. Good to see you. Welcome to San I'm so excited to be at your restaurant. I've heard absolutely amazing things about not only the restaurant, but you're cooking. <laughs> this guy, welcome, welcome to Orlando, the best kept secret. Obviously, I'm the guy who you find the last, but you know, you say the best to last, so. Starting with the amuse-bouche, grilled pepper, amuse avocado. If I go on it, see how it tastes. Mmm, awesome. really good. If you like avocado like I do, I love avocado. It's got a little bit of a chili spice to it. Delicious. Nice awesome. to start. Yeah, good right. stuff. So the breadfruit is a wonderful vegetable. Traditionally, you roast it through the skin, get really black, and you take the skin off and you can eat it like bread. Ah, okay. Mm, so, uh, so good. this soup, breadfruit soup, it's got a bit of a creaminess to it, pepper flavor, you get that spiciness. We've got this bread that's not garlic bread. It's got like a, you know, a lovely oily spread on it. For lunch, we have been served up the Caribbean Island Special Fish and Chips. And this is unlike any fish and chips that I've ever had before. We've got sweet potatoes, yellowfin tuna with some shrimp in there, some calypso dip for a little bit of spice, and a lovely salad. And the amazing thing about this restaurant is there's no menu. Every time you come, it's a five course tasting menu, taste of the Caribbean. It is all using fresh local produce. So I'm gonna taste the yellowfin tuna, which is the main shebang oh oh that is cooked perfectly 
sort of like a medium rare. This is so, so fresh, really high quality produce combined with some really high quality cooking. Yeah, if you guys want a real fish and chips, <laughs> the way that it should be cooked here in the Caribbean, yeah. here's your man. Oh, okay, yeah, shit. You're teaching Marco Pierre White, yeah. yeah. Wow. Marco Pierre White is, he's probably one of the best chefs in the world. We've got all the celebrities, oh, well, everyone that you can ever imagine. Ludicrous. Yeah. This is a massive award in New York, the James Beard Award. You used to be the at executive chef at, at Ladera. Ladera. Ladera Restaurant, yeah. which is one of the Be well, best hotels well, I mean, I, Could you be two and make it one of the best? There he is. Mm -hmm. All right, man, yeah, yeah. see you soon. See you soon, yeah. All the best. And, uh, thanks so much, yeah. And nice one. Get the love. Thank you. Will do. Be safe. See you soon. Guys, absolutely amazing. Really enjoyed that food. But now it is time to head back to the hotel. So let's go. And we are back after a very long day of traveling, of exercise, of hiking. What an amazing day it has been. Danny boy, thank you so much, thank my man. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you so, so much. much fun. My pleasure, man. Amazing. Thank you so much. Amazing. Take care. See you later, bro. See you back we are at the hotel wow these views will never get old it is such a shame to have to leave this amazing hotel and stunning island tomorrow look at these views how could you ever get tired of that you can't it is impossible but i think that is where i am going to end today's video so guys if you want to book this tour with danny boy make sure you use the link in the video description below and also check out orlando's restaurant the food there was amazing and make sure you hit that like button just there and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed and press the bell notification button so you get notified every time I post these weekly videos and check out the playlist right here for more videos from here in St. Lucia. But that's me signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.